Hello YouTube, hope you're doing well. Just a real quick update on what's going on here. This is an Aronka Chief. I'm not sure if it's 46 or 47, but it's got a little age on it. <laughs> All new fabric and such, windshield. Uh, so that's good. What uh, um, What's going in there is an 0200. Continental engine. What was in there, and what these you typically came out with, you know, they could have bigger, but that's a 65 Continental, which is, uh, of course, it's upside down on the bench, and it's the donor motor. I needed a bunch of stuff off of it. And uh, there's 65, that one's 65. These are 100. And that's all well and good but uh when this one was going together or all apart on the bench i i decided i wanted uh more of the well i, I thought this plane might find its way on the float someday and the no 200 is you know that's that's adequate power or probably even really good for that but a c90 is even better and the only real difference between C90 and an 0200 is the camshaft. So, after finding one, the camshaft, I uh, had it reground in British Columbia. They shipped it back to me. And they reground the the followers, or what I'd call the lifters, and uh, put it in there. And I had all kinds of wild plans. I was going to put Lycon 9.5 to 1 or 9 to 1 pistons in it. And that plan fell apart because uh, the pistons I bought, I bought them I, on uh, on the computer somehow. They weren't they weren't new. They were next to new, but they were P15s, and I knew that when I bought them. And for some reason, I thought the cylinders I had were P15s. I've got two sets. I've got this set and another set of serviceable cylinders. Well, they're not. These are chrome, and the other ones. Uh, are just standard size serviceable cylinders so that put the kibosh to that idea and there are a few other things amenities I wanted I had a not that I'm opposed to hand propping but if it was going to be a float plane <laughs> it's nice to have electric start right so that's a Skytech starter 12 volts and uh, that's that's all good, but you can see it just barely fits in there. There's no extra room. I'm, you can get a sheet of paper between the firewall and the starter. That's it. The alternator will not fit. Not the standard one that uh, that I have. So it's either going to do without one or wait till I locate one. Them little permanent magnet alternators that put out eight or twelve amps would fit, and that. That would be great. There's a couple things inherent to switching from uh, the A series engine, which is what what that is, to No. 200. One is the engine mounts. These are set up for these to use. These, uh, I, I think they call them Lord engine mounts. And of course, the O200's got them big ones. But fortunately for me, you can get bushings. I bought them on eBay. That uh, those these bushings fit, or these old style mounts fit in those bushings, and then you can uh, use your old mounts, and it puts the engine where it's supposed to be, so that it's you know not further ahead or back or. Uh, you know, it it, it works it, it works out. I'm gonna have to get new bolts because those ones are a little long now. But that was great. So I didn't get my high compression pistons. I don't got an alternator yet. The oil filter I believe would fit, but I don't have an oil filter adapter, so I just put one together. That's an automotive style filter base. And I think I even got the. Let me see if I got it. Yeah. 
that come from Fram? That's what that is. And uh, I just went to Nat Highline up town there, and he. I think that's that might even be a shove small block shove oil filter. I'm not sure. But the the whole everything together is less than what a new uh, aviation filter costs. So I'm gonna try that. Hopefully I'll have this thing started up today. It'll be its first start. There's a couple other things with this engine. Uh, that's the exhaust I had that was on that 65. So that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna use at least initially. It may uh, that might be subject to change, and the carburetor is. That one is for uh, an 85, a C85 Continental. And they were they were on the 90s too, the C90s. To be on uh, the C90, the only difference is that I know of is the jet is uh, a 44 as opposed to a 45. It's, that one has, oh, the C85 had a number 45 jet, not the C90 has 44 and the float setting the Venturi size is the same I can't quote it off the top of my head but it's the same Venturi I didn't get the bigger jet for that well I looked, not that I got any jet for that that carburetor came set up for an 85 and uh, I didn't bother getting the bigger one I might after I start it see how hot things get but it, it might be pretty close to what I want. I'm at 2,500 feet here where I'm at. So if I was at sea level, if, you know, like I could probably use more jet, but I'm not sure that it matters where I'm, where I am. Hmm. So I don't know what else to tell you for now. I'm just going to bolt the prop on and put it take it outside, put some gas in it, and flash it up. That'll be a separate video. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for now. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.